week 17 in the NFL just gave us more craziness, more insanity than I think I couldn't have handled. I, I, I genuinely don't know what in the world happened this week. Let me tell you, another crazy week of the NFL. And we got a lot of storylines heading into the final week of the season. Now the NFL is billing you know, week 18 as the season finale. We all know that's not the case. Trying to hype this up like this is some, you know, number one network entertainment drama. This is sports, man. <laughs> the NFL being crazy as usual. But let's get into the games here. Let's get into them. The Patriots decided to just... I mean, I mean, it's it's been a bad season for the Jags, but I mean, my goodness, man. Patriots put up 50 on the Jags. They put up 50 on them. And the Bears, the Bears whipped the Giants. The Giants had, what, negative 10 passing yards in this game? Negative 10. Come on now. Come on now, Giants. Uh, we we got to get the Week 18 already. Got to put the Giants out there misery. Got to put them out there misery already. Same with the Jags, man. Now, I did say the Jets would play the Buccaneers tough, but unfortunately, you know, despite Braxton Berrios' play, um, the Jets decided to go for it on 4th and 2, thus allowing Tom Brady to do Brady things. And that's not, e that's not even the weirdest part, the Jets being up like 24 to 10 at one point. The weirdest part is, unfortunately, Antonio Brown. And... I'm not sure what's wrong with this man. I mean, may, maybe it's CTE. Maybe he's got some issues, you know, mentally. May, maybe he's just a clown, you know, and he, he's just doing whatever whatever he wants. But he just walks out on his team. There's, like, been conflicting things about this, and I really don't know what to think at this point. But all I can say is, is if you want to, you know, Mike Evans, you know, came back and said, you know, Calm down, Antonio Brown. Calm down. Stay on the field. But no. No. He, he, he didn't do that. He just took off all of his, you know, um, gear and decided to just be like, peace. Deuces. I'm going to produce music. You know, there was some videos later with some um, Uber driver, you know, that was trying to get some clout and stuff like that. And it's, it, it's just like, Ow. You could have had an extra million dollars, too. You know, an extra million dollars if you just, you know, play these last two games. You know, play the second, play the second half against the Jets. Play the last game. Um, I believe the last game is up against. Uh, it's against the Panthers. My bad. Uh, I'm blanking real quick. Um, th this just doesn't make any sense. Like, this man quit on his team. Oh, that's plain and simple. That's simple as day right there. Quit on his team. Unbelievable stuff right there, man. Unbelievable. And the Rams. Now the Rams. Oh, boy. Rams beat the Ravens in a game that, you know, unfortunately for the Ravens, you know, this is their fifth straight loss. I mean, Rams were able to barely sneak out of this one. They barely stuck out of this one with Bon Miller. Like I told y'all. Like I told y'all. I said this on Saturday. I said Bon Miller was going to get a sack and he got a game glitching sack late in this game. Now the Ravens did not do themselves any favors in this game. You know. I mean they, they were they were up you know 19-7 because Matthew Sapp decided to throw picks give out those gifts and donations. But you know Fourth quarter comeback, you know, is just the stuff of legends. Fourth quarter comebacks by these Rams is just the stuff of legends, the, the good stuff, you know. And and the Rams, they did what they needed to do, which is win. Now they're one step closer to clinching the NFC West. They're one step closer, baby. They're one step closer. And, you know, so we, we got a long Sunday ahead. Well, actually, Saturday and Sunday, but... Mostly Sunday. Um, the Bills, they beat the Falcons on the running attack of, you know, Josh Allen. And, and, and I mean, I, I just don't know, you know, at this point for the Falcons, like, they're 7-9. and nine, They're eliminated from playoff contention. They got ran all over by Devin Singletary and Josh Allen, despite the fact that Josh Allen threw three interceptions. Three. All three of them were bad interceptions. 
too. In the snow, by the way, in the snow, it was a, you know, it was a snowy type deal with this game. But I mean, Falcon season is finally over. I know Falcons fans are probably feeling pretty miserable right now. But I mean, my goodness, man, at least try to stop the run. You know, it's just, I, I just don't get it, man. Um, Jamar Chase. What a legend this man was. Bengals beat the Chiefs on a crazy... Now, there was some crazy ref ball at the end in which I, I just... I, at this point, with the referees, I'm just like, I, I, I don't know anymore. But an insane game in which, you know, Patrick Mahomes was carving up the Bengals for a little while. Like the Chiefs were up, you know, by 14 at various points throughout the game. And the Bengals were able to counter Chase had, what, three touchdowns? Over damn near 300 yards received by himself. You know, Joe Burrow was out here slinging it. I mean, the Bengals are legit. You know, there there was, again, there was some kooky stuff at the end, but the Bengals, they did it. They win the AFC North. They're getting, they, they could, you know, slide up into the number two seed, all things considered, by, you know, by the end of next Sunday. And I mean things things get things could get a little bit weird around here. Things could get a little bit weird. So the Bengals were a huge victory. They needed that. They needed that badly. I, I didn't think they were gonna get it, you know, because I mean the way the Chiefs have been playing over the past eight or so weeks, you know, I just didn't think that this was gonna happen. But but the Bengals did it, man. The Bengals did it. And unfortunately for the Dolphins, you know, combined with the Chargers whipping on the Broncos, um yeah, the Dolphins are eliminated from playoff contention. Yeah, they're done. The Broncos are also eliminated because the Chargers whipped up on the Bron Broncos so bad. And the Browns were eliminated. We'll talk about the Browns in a minute here. Um, that game, that Steelers-Browns game just went final, by the way. And the Titans just whipped on the Dolphins. Like, they ran all over them just as expected. Derrick Henry could potentially be coming back. Remember that. He could potentially be coming back at the by the time playoffs start. So, um... But, I mean, but the way the running backs have been doing now for the Titans, I mean, is there really a reason to bring Derrick Henry back? Because, I mean, Titans, Titans have been running through teams lately. They've been running through, and now they hold the number one seed in the AFC now. They hold the number one seed. Crazy stuff. Raiders, on the other hand, they got a huge victory. They needed this victory badly, and they beat the Colts. A good Colts team, by the way. A really good Colts team that has improved the turnaround and done, you know, so much throughout the year. And the Raiders were able to get the victory they needed. They needed this. They got it. Last second field goal by Daniel Carlson. They got it. They got the victory they needed in a hard-fought game. And now the Raiders are in good position. Colts are in good position as well. Their Colts are probably going to make the playoffs. But now it sets up something real good. The Raiders the Chargers. Game 272. It's going to be lit. It's going to be real lit on Sunday night. Eagles knock out Washington. Lock up a playoff berth. Congrats to Nick Sirianni and company. They they got it done, you know, inside the King Field over up there in Washington. You know, Jalen Hurts has had a season that I, I don't think I, I don't think I've watched an Eagles game in quite some time, man. That's, that's how weird the season has been, and you know, I'm, I'm a guy that's a fan of an NFC East team. We'll talk about that NFC East team in a moment. But the Eagles, they were left for dead for quite some time. And they they, they got out of that. They got out of it. You know, they took it. Again, this is another team that took advantage of a favorable, you know, schedule and were able to do what they needed to do. Play the way they needed to play. Get the culture back. Again, Eagles, congrats to them. They, des they deserve to go to the playoffs this year. They deserve it. 49ers, they beat the Texans, and, you know, they're, they're in good position as well. You know, they haven't clinched the playoff berth yet, but they are in good position, um, and that does complicate things because the Panthers decided to lose to the Saints. That, that does can't complicate things. So 49ers and Saints are in, you know, that driver's seat for the last playoff spot. There's just one playoff spot left in the NFC, or rather not the NFC, it's the NFC, excuse me, 
Lions beat this, or rather the Lions got beat by the Seahawks. I mean, DK Metcalf went off in this game. Where was this during the season, Seahawks? Could have been going to the playoffs. Where was this? Beating up on the Lions like that. Where was it? Meanwhile, the Cardinals, they beat the Cowboys. Yeah. And like I said on Saturday, I said, you know, the Cardinals needed this, you know, pretty badly. And they got what they needed. They got what they needed here. Like, Cowboys offense once again sputtered. You know, Michael Gallup gone for the season, torn ACL, unfortunately. You know, but I mean, Kyler Murray was efficient. He did what he needed to do. The offense for the Cardinals was efficient. They pretty much ran the ball all day, all over the Cowboys. There was some ref ball too, again, like it there always is, you know. You know, I mean, there was ref ball in pretty much every game as usual, but I mean, it was more so egregious at the end of the Bengals charge, or rather the Bengals Chiefs game, excuse me. Um, but there was some ref ball in this game. It, it, but I mean, the Cowboys shot themselves in the foot, so that kind of cancels itself out, you know. They had no timeouts, and when, you know, there was some calls that need to be called, and it, it's just unfortunate, you know. Cowboys lose. That, that, that's the end of the story. But the, what, what could happen, and what might happen, is that these two teams could meet again in two weeks. You know, that, that could happen on, you know, wild card weekend, super wild card weekend. That could happen. I'm, I can guarantee you that could happen. We'll see. And the Packers, on the other hand, not only did they lock up the number one seed, they eliminated the Vikings from playoff contention as well. I mean, Vikings had to trot out a new quarterback who did absolutely all right. He did all right. But, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, you know, just efficient out there again. A.J. Dillon being uh, another, you know, back that has been just, I, I don't I don't know what's with my love for these um, Packers running backs. I, I really don't know why I love them so much, but I mean, eight, guys like A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, you know, are just a, are just a good tandem to have, I mean, and the Packers are able to do it again. Devontae Adams going off as usual, I mean, the Packers are legitimate. They're legitimate a threat to go all the way, and they have locked up. And the only team that has really locked up a, a solid place in the playoff picture. So, Packers, huge, huge victory there. And then, you know, last but not least, we know the Browns, again, like I said earlier, the Browns were eliminated thanks to the Chargers on Sunday. So, how did the Browns do in this game? Steelers needed this victory to stay alive in the playoff hunt. And what do the Browns do? nothing the Browns the Browns just looked horrible Najee Harris decided to stiff arm a man like it was nobody business in this game Big Ben had a stat line that looks absolutely atrocious in his final game at Heinz Field probably I mean this is this is a disaster from a team where we said you know back in week one when they took on when the Browns took on the Chiefs back in week one we said this team oh this team you know could go this team could do some things they could they could take on the Chiefs again in the AFC playoffs you know in the playoffs you know maybe in the AFC championship or something like that but no no the Browns decide to do this they decide to go off the deep end and completely derail their own season. Just like that. It's it's a damn shame, man. Like, this team had so much promise, and the Browns just blew it. They blew it, man. They blew it. Like, what 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 else can you say here? Like, this is rough. This is rough for the Browns. This is not the way you want your season in. You already got eliminated. That's the first thing. You got eliminated the day before, and then you go out and put on a performance like this, you know, in which you get ran over by Najee Harris. You, you, I mean, you, your offense can't do anything. Baker Mayfield's still throwing interceptions. It, it's just sad. I, I, I knew I made the right decision by not watching these games between the Vikings and Packers and, and the Browns and Steelers. I, I knew I made the right decision, man. It, it, it's just sad. Like, my goodness, man. You know, it is what it is. So... For all intents and purposes, we have just three spots left for the playoffs. We have three, just three spots remaining. Three spots. 
And there are plenty of teams looking to, you know, lock up their spot. So the schedule for Week 18 was set last night. I'll, I want to go over it real quick before we really talk about the games. Uh, and we're, uh, we're I might just talk about the games that matter in Week 18 for my preview. My preview will be Friday. Yes, Friday instead of the usual Thursday. It's been it's been weird the last couple weeks. Remember, you know, this Week 18 stuff is new. 17 game schedule, new. You know, so. There are only, you know, if you want to watch a game in the noon window, you know, there's there's two games in the noon window that, that are going to be looking real intriguing on Sunday. Of course, you know, um, the games on Saturday really don't mean anything. They're just for seating purposes. And other games are for seating purposes as well or others that do not matter at this point. And then you got, you know, a couple games in the late window. And then, of course, Chargers Raiders is game 272. So... You want to have a good Sunday? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll talk about all five of these games more in detail, you know, on Friday, you know, and that's that's gonna cap off a well, that's not gonna cap off the week, but it'll it'll get the weekend rolling for this channel. And we got another subscriber the other day. It was either yesterday or the day before. And congratulations, number one fifty-seven. You know, kudos to you, brother. Whoever you, whoever you are that subscribed, kudos to you, thank you, and keep sharing the vids and stuff like that so we can keep on growing here. So, week 18, I'm excited for it. Yeah, you, you all know uh, I'm ready for the playoffs. I'm ready for the playoffs to come. They they, they need to come on already. I need, I need Super Wild Card Weekend, baby. I need it. I need it. Inject it into my veins. Inject it. Because the regular season has been fantastic. A wild regular season. I don't think I've seen a regular season in the NFL like this in quite some time, which was so wild, so chaotic, you know, like, man, like, do you believe this? Do you believe this? So, week 18, we're coming. We're coming hard. So, I will see you all on Friday talking about the NFL at least, but tomorrow, tomorrow, this Tuesday, we got some things to settle here. You know, a couple of national championships need to be talked about. And we're going to talk about them both tomorrow. So, I will see you all then tomorrow. And let's do this. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.